All right, it appears that I already have in what I call room two, um, the stair section. I've got a, uh, a piece of that extended roof already here. So I'm going to try and draw that out a little bit and see how it fits with my other drawing. You can see this piece right there. It's lower, but um, profile's hitting around the same spot. These obviously were different anyway. They're on the other side of the building. So let's kind of pull this trace in here. I'm going to draw that line in there because it's a really nice shot of what I probably have for a true pitch. And I think I was using a, a 312 earlier and um, I'm not sure what I've got on this particular drawing. So let's just go. Uh, actually, even on junk is good. I, I like to do a lot of sketching stuff on my junk layer. That's the one that does not print. And then, um, because of the way that this LiDAR, you don't really hit the middle of the line. Um, it's picking up surfaces. So, see that snap up there? I don't want to... Oh, look like I do want to get that. Look at that. Okay. So, let's get that. Now, I want to check it and see what I got. So, I'm going to draw a line. I don't want to go up. I want to go sideways. So, let's do a line. From here, we're going to go over 12 inches. Am I on snaps? Yes, 12. And let's see what our pitch is. So I'm going to come up, and I hit 2 and 13 16. So I have a 312 set up for this. And, you know, there's obviously some give and take through this. There's some push up here, pull down here. So we're going to call this a 312. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw this line up. And I'm going to say 3. So there's my, my new pitch. So all I got to do is take this. And whoop, I'm going to grab that end. Oh, my WCS is really close. Bring it up. And I'm going to attach it to there. Now I've got a 312 on that line. So I don't need this anymore. So um, I'm going to bring it into a, to my magenta. Um, I use all D layers in sections and elevations. They're what we call the drawing layers. Because it's not really, it doesn't matter what it is, it's more you're just drawing and you want a, a thickness. So these colors are giving me thickness in in the uh, my drawing layers. So white is just a regular thickness. So I've got to get this kind of in there. Looks like that's flat right through there. Um, this line goes on and on. So it is um, something I haven't used in long enough that I can't tell you exactly why that line is where it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it here. And I'm going to break it here. And then make sure it's on the layer I want. So I'll choose it. Look, it's D object. Okay, that's just a regular old object layer. So that's my drawing. D is drawing. I'm going to push it up. Oh, it's snapping. I'm too close. So let's grab it again. Let's cut an empty space to do a relative move. I'll bring it down to where I kind of feel like, you know, there's scanning the hit down here. Was that debris? Was it pigeon poop? <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, if we're going to hit something that's kind of median in there because it's not a dead accurate thing I'm really concerned about. Um, again, this existing building, we're not building any of this. I just want it to be kind of nice looking. So then we're going to do an arc, and we're going to do it from near um, here. Well, that's about maybe there, and then we'll come on down to there. Now let's match properties with this. So it turned into a nice white line on the right layer. We'll trim this back. This is why I use the old trim. It's for what I just did right now. Now look at this. I could see that from a distance, but that's just because I'm an old fart who's been doing this for a long time. All right, so I'm going to move this from the quadrant straight down so I can uh, get a clean line out of this. So then we're going to trim both of these. So we'll trim that and that. And now the tangent right there. So 
That's just geometry, basic stuff. Okay, so if we look over, why is that one? Oh, I see. Okay, if we look over at our um, our recap, you can see that this thing does have that tilt to it. Where well, my other one, I think, was flat. But um, yeah, this has got an angle right there. I'm on some sort of. I want to pan. Da, 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 pan. There we go. Scoot over a little bit. Yeah, definitely an angle. Got a straight edge that looks like it's opposite of the 312. So I'm thinking that they had a board. They cut that off of it, and this was the natural end. So that is the opposite at 90 degrees to this angle up here. So we're going to copy this. Oops, not both of them. Copy this. I'm going to bring it down. The cat's the top of our corbel. So now i got a corbel at 312. I'm going to match properties to turn it white so I recognize what it is. Okay, so it'll work on this for a few days. You never know what happens. So, um, And then I'm going to take a line, and I believe that it is perpendicular. So what I can do to get that angle that I think is in that recap. Oh, shoot. I did it again to you guys. I'm going to actually undo. And uh, we're going to switch back to the other monitor because what I just did <laughs> is important. So, Control-Z. Z, 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 Z. Okay. What I was talking about here in this recap of my recap video um, is I took this line because I know that's my 312 that we established and I'm going to copy it. And I don't really care too much where it lands, but I want it to be on the image kind of where I think is about the top. And because there's some fade, fade, whatever his machine is catching. Did it show? No, it didn't. So for some reason, oh, it probably snapped off into space somewhere. I'll find it later someday. But um, right now it's gone. So let's escape out of here. Let's copy this from here. I'm going to turn my snaps off. So this is my snap. Turn it off. And I'm just going to move it down into there. That looks about right. Now, I want to recognize that as Corbel. So I'm going to match properties with this white line. Missed it. Oh, I'm hitting enter. When you do this, you don't hit enter. You hit what you want. Okay. Now, what I was trying to get at, let's just draw a line out here in space. I don't even care where it is. So, just draw a line out here. The reason I'm doing that is I want to just... Uh, not on, I hit E, not EX. EX. I want to extend that just to get it past where I need it. Now, I'm going to draw a line that goes from anywhere perpendicular to that. that. That makes it 90 degrees, which is what I think the face of this is when I look at our recap photo. So I'm going to draw a line from here perpendicular to that. And now I can move this. Oops, I'm going to grab it down to something that estimates. It's kind of a blur here, but like I said, this is not super critical. So let's draw the line. Oh, my snaps are off. That's why I'm sitting here going, why isn't it grabbing it? But my snaps are off. So I'm going to turn them back on. Now it'll grab the end. And I'm going to come out here in the distance, so I'm not really hitting anything. And just find what I like there. Now, let's chamfer this at zero. So that just makes a sharp edge. So both my chamfer distances were set to zero. That's how I did that. Then I'm going to draw a line from near NEA. And it looks like that's about right to near. There. That looks pretty good. CH. Now remember, we're not um, building any of this. If we were building this, boy, this would be a different story. This would be right on the money, at least in my world. Oh, undo. I got the yellow. I didn't realize that was in this drawing. I thought it was x -ray. So I'm going to match, and i got to be a little more selective. Match properties. That 
and those two. That was cross-selecting. I thought I grabbed those. I could have just windowed that whole thing. I wouldn't have grabbed the yellow. So that would be from left to right versus right to left. Chief people, listen. This is a good thing. It's really powerful. AutoCAD has got their selection down. Okay, so now I got this pitch here. It's probably the same as this pitch here. So we're going to copy this. Bring it down in here where I like it. Uh, see, it's in that. So trying to snap or something. So we're going to turn our snaps off. I can do this mid command. I don't have to let the command go. So now I'm not going to snap to anything. And I'll drop it. There. Now I got this thing that's going to intersect with that. So let's chamfer that. And it comes up into here somewhere. This looks like it's probably a reflection of what we had on those other ones. And I could confirm that. Let's go see if we can get a better look on our on our 49 inch. Now it says it's on, but I don't see it. There we go. All right. So looking through here, you can see these are those curves. They look like they curve down and then they go flat across. Now this looks sharp angled. I can't tell what's going on there, but I assume it's what's going on here. Do they then why is this one so different? And then again and then even something different from there. Let's kind of explore this world just a little bit and see if we can get some answers to what's going on. Why what am I seeing? I'm going to talk about not having to go out to the site and do any measurements. This is wicked cool. I'm going to play around in here. Nope, I see those red dots. They're coming. I just got some zooming to go. I'm scrolling out. And this thing's so big, it's taking a little time. Just trying from the other side to see if I can see anything different than I could from one side to another. Not there. Let's go to the next one. Oh, I went too far. Oh, I went up, I think. Boy, there is a lot of, kind of like variation in the way that these were done, huh? That one looks the same. That's got a, oh, this is where the roof transitions. That's what I'm seeing. I am seeing the short roof versus the long. But then what is this guy right there? What is that? Why is that one? Is that just the middle portion? <clears throat> it looks like it's off to the side. So this one has two. This one has one. You probably get as close as the door. I don't know. Oh, it's at the it's at the edge of the roof. So it only got one 45 degree stabilizing element to it. So. Hmm. Not sure. Now I'm too close. I can't see what I'm looking at. Uh, let's get back down in there. We'll figure this out. I'm just right now trying to get a little education on what I'm looking at. This is the long one. So these are straight. Perfectly straight piece of lumber. So that's that guy there. Oh, sorry. I'm not switching monitors for you. That's this guy right here. That's straight piece. So we can put that in pretty easily. Um, let's just do it. Line. From near. Oh, 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 why is it not giving me a near? Let's just make sure we got line. From near. That. There we go. I'm kind of guessing here. Might have to move it later. Uh, that was a little unclear down at the bottom. Boy, look at that. That's at a 30 degree angle. So, just knowing those old timers, man, they, they really did some nice stuff. So, let's take a distance from here. 
over and see what we're looking at. That's about five and a half, which makes a lot of sense. So if I offset this 5.5 and look at it, if I average that out, look and see these dead space and full space. I'm just going to move that down a little bit just to make it closer to what I'm looking at. Maybe up a little. How's that? That looks pretty good. Considering what we're trying to do here, I think we're looking pretty good. So I'm going to change these, make them white, which tells me I'm done messing with them. And then I'm going to extend them into the wall. There. Those are extended. So, looks like that. That goes all the way up to the roof. So these extend all the way up to here. Now that's going to hit that first line, so I'm going to extend again. And then this one will go all the way. So now those are drawn in. <laughs> and... Again, I can do one of those random lines out here just to get this extended out to somewhere. So it's beyond where I want it. I got this is this line you see here is a uh, downspout for the for the gutter system. So at any rate, um, hold a minute. All right. So what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to create something that I can model this whole deal with and create um, a polyline solid in chief architect that I can just repeat down the wall and have a whole bunch of these corbels instantaneously, really making the front of this building pop. So I filled this wall out to get this member to go all the way up as it does in the photograph. So this line here does the same thing. So I'm just extend it to here. And so now that's extended. I got kind of a mess of things going on from another roof, but I'll ignore that when we get down the line. I'm just trying to get in the geometry I need for this object. Now this in this frame is unrelated. And this came from this side over here. So Well, even that side on this picture looks like it's off. Looks low. I come back and fix that later. This is one of those details that's not critical. Um, I'm trying to give a real good aesthetic, but I just have a problem with needing things to be perfect. So sometimes I gotta get over it. Turn my snaps on. Grab that. And let's slide it up the spine until we're happy. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to extend it back to here. And if I were to mirror that and it hits perfect on the other side, I'm going to say I had a mistake earlier. And that uh, we'll just fix those down the line. I'm trying to deadline for this weekend. So um, let's see what we can do for these folks. Um, this, would be, this is a totally different angle. Um, from the recap that I'm seeing to my left, that looks like it's about 45. So we're going to draw a line from anywhere in space. Up, we're going to get our snap to hit at 45. It's ugly compared to what I'm looking at, but let's just kind of see. Let's work with that a little bit and see what we get. What this is, is I think part of the downspout um, because it, in the recap, let's just show you real quick. In the recap, um, you can see there's a downspout, and then it turns and goes across. It, it's not continuous. So <clears throat> what I'm trying to draw is this portion right here. So this downspout that we saw here, this thing just goes straight to the wall. So I'm going to extend it. Ah, extend. It, no, it's flat on the bottom. So we're going to draw a line across. Line there. And then we need... This is, let's, let's measure this. 
They're out. That's about uh, five. Most of the stuff's probably about five and a half. My wall could be off slightly, but um, let's just verify that I still have a nice dimension because that's what I was really working with that I liked. So we come in on this, and I'm at 38.4 on our overall building width. So down here, 38.2. Okay, so I'm going to move that in two inches, which is probably going to satisfy a lot of the... Oh, yeah, look at the distance. So let's move this in two inches. And you can see it kind of got off down here. Maybe it's too far. Okay, let's see what our... Um, I don't know if I got a dimension on here that's live. Yeah, it's an X-Ref. That's, oh, I do up here. I do up here. That's what I keep these around for. Oh, of course, I don't have a architectural dim. We can change the layer, though. So let's just do these 3D dim absolute. So I'm going to match properties with that. Because I'm mainly interested in the tick and the text size. So I'm going to come down. <clears throat> here and then all we can do is change the layer and it'll be an architectural dim and that's simple arch dims okay now we're set up 38.2 is the new dimension these should be 13 inches wide that's one foot over here I've got 14 inches oh it is 14 I believe let's go check our floor plan because this one is where I'm putting my faith. So, dimension, straight up, 14, 14, okay. So, we're calling those 14s. Let's go back to our working. And we're going to offset 14, change layers. So, that's the inside wall. And then erase that. So, that's getting to be something. Um, obviously, I got a bunch of geometry here that's now going nowhere. So, CH, let's uh, join this up. Now I can extend that all the way out where it wanted to be before. Extend that. Now, if I offset 5.5, which makes good sense for lumber size, see how short. I have to check some scan geometry and the other scans because not happy with that result. Um, again, this is not what we're building. It's not damn critical, but I just am that way. I like things to work out. So right now we're going to accept that. Although, oh goodness. Okay, I'm looking at the recap. Um, let me take you over there. Whoops. Oh, I was on the was on the recap for that whole series. I did a whole bunch of work in AutoCAD. Okay, so here's what I did in AutoCAD. Um, I went through and I looked at the floor plan. And I determined that we did have a 14 and a 14 inch thick wall. Went back to our working. We're tracing a bunch of this stuff out. So I moved this to meet what was on the floor plan. 38 foot 2 inches. I had used the match properties of one of these to get my tick size and my, my, my um, tick size correct. And then I just swapped it to the right layer. So that, uh, because I'm on an architectural drawing, oh, this is a section, actually is a structural drawing, uh, will be. But um, nonetheless, I put on the arch, arch dims, we can correct that sort of stuff later, that's not a big deal. Then, now that I have the line in, I had to extend all these down to hit the right spots. And when I offset this with the new wall location, 
I offset it out five and a half, which made a lot of sense. Gosh, look at that distance. That scan is never that inaccurate. We're talking an inch and a quarter. Um, so, here's where you've been staring the whole time. I'm sorry about that. If I look at the thickness of this thing and how it goes in with the brick relief, this is not a five and a half inch member. This is bigger than that. Is it a seven and a quarter? I don't think so. Um, I do think it's surface mounted, but if I come in here and I look at the, if I go back to here, yeah, we're back to here. So now we're back, not a recap, or back at AutoCAD. If I look at this total distance, I'm like six and three quarter. And working on these old buildings, it just doesn't seem so weird to me anymore. Um, went to the mill, you call, you ask for something, you got it. Um, so let's go with that for now. So offset six point seven five. Okay, let's match properties and then get rid of this old one. Okay, now here we can chamfer this out. Let's get this to extend to the wall. And then let's match properties on this base. All I'm looking to do is just build a nice corbel that I can stick on this structure. And these do go up. Let's make that go up too, because when I bring this over as a piece of geometry, I'm going to eliminate a bunch of stuff and just build this corbel, which is going to include that piece, that vertical piece. It'll include this horizontal piece, and it'll include this outlooker. And that will be the piece of geometry. This will be duplicated to the other side, and then we'll create one object out of it that we can throw in our 3D model. So I think we're in pretty good shape here. And I think we've got the AutoCAD geometry to do this. So I'm gonna stop this recording. And then um, we'll go into Chief and uh, we'll create ourselves a solid.